Today is a very special day here in Baden-Baden. It's the opening night of our new Easter festival. And tonight is the premiere of the Magic Flute. It has been a great week of rehearsals and exciting stuff happening on and off stage. And tonight we're going to see all that hard work coming together and hopefully a fantastic performance. Unfortunately, the weather is not very Easter-ish, so we're about to go inside. So Sebastian, we're standing here amongst all the coffins for the Magic Flute. It's quite a, a dark uh, <laughs> production on stage. Have you ever played the Magic Flute before? No, that's my first time. And is it fun to play the Magic Flute in the pit? It's really fun to play it. And of course, it's fun to play it in the pit and in a real production. And um, I think we all have a lot of fun. Do you feel different because tonight's the premiere? Yeah, I'm totally nervous, of course. <laughs> I'm a wreck. Don't believe a word of it. Yeah. No, I'm, I mean, it's a, a special premiere because it's also our premiere in the Baden-Baden Festival. And I think it's for, for everybody kind of a special moment, but we look forward to it. It's our star from the Berlin Phil blog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you up to? I am trying to get uh, this whole heap of mud in front of the first grave. We're all putting it together. You can film it if you want. Yeah, come and show us. Hey, this is not good for my high heels. No. <laughs> it's not good for my low heels either. <laughs> <laughs> See, and then it changes the color. Yeah. It makes it dark, just like the rest of the earth on top. And what's this guy doing here? Is he, is he, is he cutting the grass? No, he's trying to get it at an angle of about <laughs> 36 degrees. <laughs> Why? Does it look better like that? It looks better, yeah, because uh, when, we, when we fold it together to take it out, you, we leave creases in it, so we try to make sure it's like getting it all level again. If only the audience knew what went on here on stage before a premiere. Mm, yeah, they, they wouldn't believe it. <laughs> they would definitely not believe it. Does the soil have to be just so? Yes, of course the soil has to be just so. Everything has to be perfect. Michael's more interested in making sure that the Sorry, dirt I'm is in the right place than talking to me. <laughs> You're a little bit slimy today. You're much slimier than yeah, in the I'm dress really rehearsal. dirty today, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, slimy, I would say. Oh, it's, it's, it's still yes, wet. Yes. Well, I mean, it's quite a kinky process. I mean, they, they smother me in Vaseline and, and then they throw some garden earth on me, mm. which I guess some people have to pay for, but, you know. <laughs> Um, premiere, do you feel different on a premiere day than on a dress rehearsal day? Yeah, because everybody is excited around you, so you pick up some of the, of the energy. <laughs> so I'm standing at the side of the stage looking down into the pit. It's a strange feeling to have a microphone in my hand and not a horn, but toy 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 to everybody, it's going to be a fantastic performance. It's about to start. You can hear the applause, you can hear the singers warming up. Everyone's wishing everybody a toy, toy, toy. So here we go. So we're in the makeup room, and a regular Muleman, who is singing Papagena, is being transformed from a beautiful young lady into a very old looking 18 year old. Um, regular, what's actually happen happening right now? Actually, I'm so old that I'm already dead in this case. Uh, I come out of a coughing uh, and she has to do the bones on the hand that anybody can see that she's already dead. You have to persuade Papa Geno that he should be in love with you. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> and um, you have this incredible dress. It looks very difficult to walk in. It is. It is quite difficult because it's huge and the light is quite dark so I don't see much with the... I have a, a mask too. But um, I mean it's very... it's so much fun to do this huge change from, from that old, very very old lady to the young Papagena. It's always so much fun. So it's the interval and I'm just about to visit the Drei Damen, the three ladies who are relaxing in their dressing room. Let's have a look. So we have the three ladies here. We have Anik, Natalie, Magdalena. Ladies, you are real <laughs> Bond girls, I think. <laughs> are you having fun on the stage? Oh, yes, yes, really. We, we really have fun. I mean, we have to. If not, the public will not have. <laughs> Natalie, what's your favorite part of the costume? This one, of course. <laughs> 
I think I never had this kind of very sexy where I'm more a Hosenrolle used to that. It's very special, but I like it. It's a composition part. Mm, yes. I'm not quite sure where to look here. It's, uh, oh, it's please, quite distracting. Please, look my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Magdalena, last year, Carmen, and this year, the second lady. It's quite a change of character, isn't it? <laughs> not really, no. I mean... Uh, <laughs> both are sexy. Yeah, both are sexy. Um, it's a bit less stressed this year. Um, and uh, as we said, there are no small roles. What's the hardest thing about being the first lady and keeping these, these girls under control? Well, I think it's just a question of um, the different of notes. <laughs> first lady, second lady, third lady. We are together. We are, I am one lady, she's one lady, she's one lady, and we are three ladies. That's all. And we have fun. And I think we, we, we really enjoy to sing together, to act, and uh, to do theatre. That, that's all. Nobody can control us. No. <laughs> <laughs> Toy, toy, toy. Bravo, guys. Toy, toy, toy. Hey, I'm so excited because it was such a warm welcome and Everything, everything was so perfectly done and uh, the reception of the people are full of love and passion and so we are quite happy and it was a great, great opera tonight. It's the beginning of a new era, as you know, and uh, so everybody was very curious. This is the big boss, this is the man that made it all possible, Andreas. Did you enjoy it? Enjoy is no word. For me, it's the most intelligent, dense, deep, and joyful Zauberflöte I have ever seen. How did your grave diggers do tonight? Well, they did really well. I'm very pleased with them. Because, in fact, although they don't sing that much in this show, Robert really used them from the beginning to the end, doing all sorts of acting. And uh, also, all the way through, we improved it and changed it. So even before we came on the stage tonight, Robert came to and changed two things, which they did for the first time tonight. But actually, it brought a huge energy to the show, and I'm really pleased with them. So the premiere, Magic Flute, is over. It was a huge success. The audience loved it. The musicians really enjoyed it. The atmosphere back here, backstage, is really amazing. And um, we are going to be playing Mahler 2 tomorrow, and I hope you'll be joining us on our video blog for lots more behind the scenes, a lot more music. Enjoy. See you very soon. <laughs>